Hello and welcome to the streaming quick demo session. I want you to visualize how streaming works. If you look at the video, the ingestion starts with pops up. So, and then it goes to BigQuery through Dataflow. And Dataflow transforms the data before ingesting data to BigQuery. Dataflow refers some static data from BigQuery. If the condition is satisfied, then it initiate the ETL. Now we are in Google Cloud Dashboard. Let's go to BigQuery target table. Target table name is staging underscore transactional. It's under pathway tips 001 and the data set name is transactional. If you look at the count, it's 191. It's because it's a real time. I'm publishing this message to the pops up and data flow keep ingesting data to this BigQuery table. You can see the count, it's keep increasing. I have an ingestion script uh, here, it's in Cloud Cell. It's keep publishing to the pops up. You can see it refer the table under transactional. The table name is the uh, site underscore extra. It refer the table based on the reference. It load the data to target table. You can see it's keep increasing. Let's go to the data flow. Um, yeah, left hand side it's reading the data from reference table. Right hand side it's reading the data from pops up. After transformation, it's write the data to BigQuery table. That's what we are seeing here. And see here, it's a streaming ingestion. Let's go back and check the count. It's keep changing. Yep. Let's look at the columns. Click preview. The first one is from the reference table. Remaining three columns from the data flow. Actually, pops up uh, publishing more columns, but we are extracting and modifying for those three columns. Let's move to the static table. See the last column. So this data comes from this table to the target table. So this first column data comes from that static table. Based on this cell ID. Cell ID is the key here. If you pass the message, you can see uh, here the cell ID, right? So the cell ID, it takes the cell ID and if the cell ID and based on the cell ID, it takes the exact region ID from the static table and the load the data to the target table. Let's check the count again and then go to the log. It's good. It looks good. Mm, logs there is, there is no issues it's keep publishing and in setting to BigQuery and the throughput is good let's go to the topic and the input graph is good and it match with this operation count so input and operation count both looks good it's exactly same Let's check the count again. Okay, fine. I hope you're able to connect each services with this data flow. I'll explain everything in this next session. It's a super it's super easy. And I forgot to tell one more thing. And when the data flow job is running behind the scene, you can see it use compute engine. So that's how it works. My goal is more practicals and more live projects. Happy learning. See you on next video.